That we'll move to unfinished business. Uh, the first item is consideration of an update or discussion regarding possible legal action concerning <coughs> the rendering plant or premium protein products facility in Rossville. Uh, you should have received um, an update or an outline as was uh, promised at our last, uh, following our last meeting from Mr. Dave Townsend with Pilgrim's Pride. And the reason this is back here, uh, I guess as a discussion more than anything else at this point, is to try to have some farther discussion or, or uh, I guess definition or understanding of what these items that were presented to us, uh, how they can be further described to make some kind of a determination to whether this is going to meet the expectations that the council had as far as taking any action on this. And uh, it's up to the pleasure of the council where we, Honor, go, where we go with this at this time. Excuse me, Your Honor. There, yeah. it, it appears to me that that they have done exactly what we'd asked them to do. Uh, I think we gave them 30 days for the, isn't that correct? Well, this, for this outline, and then what was the period of time for? 60 days. 60 so. days from, from, from this date to begin to execute these plans. That's right. And it looks to me like they've, they have addressed everything that we, that we <coughs> ask of them, so uh, we ought to just continue with the, with the uh, time, with the schedule. I mean, because we're not going to know really until June, July, no. something like that when it gets, you know, but we ought to at least give them a fighting chance. And I, I think there's a couple of issues that came to my mind as I read through this, and, and Mr. Tripp just mentioned another concern that he had. Uh, I think as council, we ought to have the opportunity at least to uh, engage some dialogue, whether it be written or, or verbal with uh, premium protein to, to maybe be able to address some of our concerns with the document. And, and I'll just throw one out here. They're, they're talking about developing these standard operating procedures, but my question is, is there an on-site quality assurance individual to ensure enforcement of these? Because if they're in Tennessee or Colorado, wherever they are, they're not going to be smelling the smell that the residents of the Rustville will be. No. And, and they won't be as sensitive to these, these procedures and whether they follow it or not. So <coughs> just a question that I have as to compliance with their procedures that they're going to be putting in place. So I, I'd at least like an opportunity to, to, to approach them and, and submit, maybe in writing, a couple of our concerns that they may be able to address. I think that's, I do think that's reasonable and, and you have the outline of this and you bring up a very good point about somebody that would be at the plant. Well, this is what we ask them. quality and, assurance. No. I mean, this is what we ask them and I think that's, a, mm -hmm. I think that's a reasonable and logical next step, uh, part of the next step of the process is how they're going to, how they're going to ensure this and that's, um, that's, that's a necessity. The, the as next far step is supposed uh, to be a much more detailed plan. Next one is, yeah. So yeah. This, yeah. yeah. As, as far as um, some kind of uh, dialogue or meeting or whatever, do you recommend, Mr. Harris, waiting until that subsequent report or between I, now and that time? I, I, I would be willing to sit, submit my, my issues in writing to them and maybe they could incorporate those in the final report or at least address why. You know, what we're asking is, is not, they're not able to comply with. All right. You can have that dialogue at that time. Uh, let, me, let me suggest this, that you do just that, that you provide that to the mayor's office and any of the other council members. And if you have dialogue with other citizens, any kind of concerns or questions about this, this will be posted on our website. And uh, individuals can also... Uh, respond to this and ask questions. In, in and all due fairness, I think we need to set a time limit to get this information to them. So, you know, I would, oh, absolutely. I would say, you know, within, probably within the first week of January, we should have this information to them. And I'm, I'm taking into account the holidays. People may not be attuned, but I, I'd be
be willing to get that, you know, within the next couple of weeks and, and get that to them so they have time to respond. All right. Well, in the letter to, to, the, to the, his honor, they, you know, Mr. Townsend indicates that contact him if uh, we have questions or require further information. So okay. I think we yeah. require further information. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we have uh, a couple of steps that we will take in regard to the, your recommendations and uh, we will have some feedback forthcoming. Thank you. <clears throat>